Let's jump right in. I want to go over five best practices, aka tips and tricks on combing your beard. Now to begin with, to just put this out here, this is not sponsored, it is not paid for. I know I shouldn't even like defend myself for the video in this way, but anytime I start talking about tools, you always get people saying, oh, companies made him make this video to pay. No, I just wanna give out some information that I genuinely believe will help you guys out there. And I'm gonna introduce myself at the end of the video, but just to put something in your brain as the video goes on, if at any point you're like, you know what, this is some really helpful information, I like the vibes here, and you're not subscribed, please consider it as the video goes on. We'll check back in and talk at the end. Let's go ahead and get into tip number one. Number one is finding the right quality comb for your beard. Now we are kind of cheating to begin this list a little bit because it's kind of like two packed into one, but they are related and I don't know how you talk about one without the other, and that's finding quality and the right one to fit your beard. Now to begin, this is gonna be used as the good example in today's video because this is what I use to comb my beard every single time for years now, but the really amazing thing is just because it's the best one for me doesn't doesn't mean it's the only option or the one that you have to or should use. There's so many amazing quality beard combs out there in the market from different companies to different materials to different shapes, different sizes. This is just the one that works the best for me. But what would make this a quality option as compared to this one? Well, many of you have heard me call these funeral home combs for two main reasons. One, I do find these in funeral homes. Even as a child, I would go to the bathroom at a funeral, they'd have the little basket, these would be sitting in them, and it just stuck out in my mind. And I'm like, oh, that's a funeral home comb. Fast forward to today where it makes a little bit more sense to be called that, if you use this on your beard, I don't care who you are. And what I mean by this is they're those plastic flimsy black combs. Sometimes they come in like the trimmer kits or you'll see them at the funeral homes or dollar stores or wherever. You guys know what I'm talking about here. If you use these, it's like a funeral for your beard. You will damage your beard and eventually greatly harm or kill your beard. And the reason why starts with how it's made. This starts with a flat mold, right? They pour in some melted, some hot liquid plastic, and then they put the second mold that's equal to it on the other side, and it presses all of the extra liquid out. It pushes it off to the side, it cools, then they remove it. Well, the problem is the liquid's not perfect every time. It's not perfect any time, to be real. And essentially, when you have a little bit extra of that liquid, which they ensure, because they don't want parts missing or little bubbles in there, the stuff that gets pressed out doesn't get fully removed. So it'll sit on the side of it, and the end result is along the top of the teeth here, you'll have little lines that are like jagged little blades. And every time you go in and comb your beard, those blades are slicing hairs, at least taking off layers of hair fibers and protection on the outside. And and equally as important, along the spine or the base of the comb, that same thing happens with those press lines. And as you get in deeper, you're now cutting it from the top and from the base of the comb really horrific for your beard. I'll have guys reach out all the time like, man, I have split ends, I got breakage, I got problems, what can you say? And I'm like, what about your water? They're like, I'm good. What about your oil? It's good. And I'm like, what are you using to comb your beard? And they're like, oh, you know, you know the thing that just comes in the trimmer kit? And I'm like, oh, you're actually slicing your beard every time you comb it. Please don't use these. These are not good. If you can do this with your comb, it's likely not a good, <laughs> a quite good option. Now, what do I like about this? What makes this quality? It's polished. Other quality options. This is carbon fiber. You can use a cellulose acetate comb. Sounds scary, but really good, aka a Kent comb. Those are hand polished. You can use wood combs. You can use ox horn combs, buffalo horn combs. There's a lot of really good options out there. Stay away from metal, right? The straight up like stainless steel metal ones and stay away from the mold pressed, really cheap black flimsy ones. Not good at all. Number two, do not comb too fast. Nice and easy, but most guys are either doing this currently or have, we just wanna get done. We like to just really rush through things, right? Think about your homework as a kid. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Think about your chores as a kid. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But as we go through and you're, you're just trying to get through the beard, slow down. Let the tool do the work, don't work the tool. That's a powerful phrase. When you go too fast, it's like taking the, the scissors on the end of the a ribbon on a balloon and you go and it makes those little curls. The same thing happens with your beard. That tension, that friction, and that speed can equal some disasters in styling and in health. So nice and slow. Slow down, fellas. It's not much more complicated than that. Number three, similar concept, 
do not muscle through tangles and snacks. As guys, we like to go fast through these things, but we also like to power through, right? Let's say you're trying to screw in something. You're like, oh, I won't go. Just put a little muscle on it. And how many times have we broken things? Well, your beard is the same way. If you're combing and you hit a tangle, you hit a snag, remove, restart on a slightly different angle, be gentle with it. You are not ever going to win by powering through with your beard. Our beard hairs are attached to the face by a follicle. That's not holding on super strongly. And if you give it a little bit too much force, you're gonna be pulling it out too early. You can damage the follicle, you can ruin those hairs. Don't do that, you guys. If you reach a tangle and snag, remove, reassess, and go again. Number four is wash your beard combs daily. Yes, daily. I wash my combs every single day with a rare exception because I'm like traveling or who knows what, but pretty much every day I'm washing this bad boy. Now I'm gonna give you two main ways I think you guys should consider washing them. Number one is the most thorough way. Outside of the shower, have a dedicated washing toothbrush for your combs and then just simply wash them. Whether it's with beard wash, whether it's with soap, whether it's with vinegar, any of those things will work. Just put the soap, put the vinegar on it, take that toothbrush, scrub, 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 do the other side, rinse it off, you're good to go. You now have a clean comb. The other way, which is a super common way for me, is just simply take your comb with you in the shower and when you wash your beard gently and lightly, because you can easily get tangles and snags with beard wash. I know some of you are watching you're like, Dan, there's no way. You can do it, just be gentle, be light, and comb through your beard while there's beard wash in it, that beard wash com combined with the beard hairs going through is gonna clean out your comb. And you guys, this is really important. If you have one of these combs or something similar, go look at the spine. Go look where the teeth meet the actual comb base itself and see if you can see little things there. Spoiler, we all do. Stuff builds up in our beard, whether it's clean, whether it's with product, whether it's not, you wanna wash those out because if not, every single time you use this, you're reintroducing those things back into your skin, back into your beard. Clean your combs. Number five, Consider using different combs for different purposes. Now this is true. I use this comb every single time I comb my beard. If I could only keep one comb for the rest of my life, it's legitimately this one. However, I do have two other combs that I use on a regular basis, and one is just the kind of normal Kent comb, and with those fine teeth that are really close together, I use that to style my mustache. Now I also use a pick comb, and I use it from Chicago Combs, the number seven, and I use that to get under the beard and comb out to get some volume. Sometimes address some like dips and waves in there as well but I use all three of those on a regular basis for different purposes I could not use the pit comb for my overall beard I could not use the Kent comb for my overall beard but they have a place they have a spot and it does make a difference for me so don't just limit to yourself to saying this is the right comb for me maybe you have combs for different situations just something to consider to wrap this up, I did say I would introduce myself. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and I wanna say thank you, not only for checking this video out today, but making it all the way to the end of the video. That's absolutely amazing. If you found any of the tips or content in today's video helpful, please consider hitting that thumbs up, aka the like button. It's free, it only takes a split second, and it does really help me out here. And as I kind of prompted at the beginning, if at all, and you're new here, or you're not subscribed, and you were like, you know what, that's actually a good tip, just hit that subscribe button for me, check out that information. If not, I will continue to try and earn that respect and that subscription from you guys. So, thoughts, questions, comments, experiences. I know you guys have some add-ons. What are some other things specifically related to beard combs and combing your beard that you think would be useful, that you learned along the way that maybe could save somebody some hardship and, and really help out their beard journey? Give your tips. Is there something that you want clarification on? I would be happy to explain myself and go deeper. Just let me know any thoughts you have with a comment down below. That shows me you guys are watching, that shows me you care, that you're thinking. I really do love reading every single comment and responding to all of them. So thank you guys one more time. Dancy Bearded, please stay bearded and stay positive.